look at the way reality TV is right now, look at the way the idea of celebrity is right now, look at the way mental health is right now, look at Instagram right now. Hey, it's Anna. So we are going to talk about this wonderful little societal programming that makes us feel like we need to compete with each other, you know? Because it's been drilled into us forever, like, the moment we're born, we are taught how to compare ourselves, how to compete, especially young girls and women, like, we are always taught that we can't be a team, that we shouldn't work together, that there's, like, cool people and then there's uncool people, and we always need to, like, become the persona that you, like, that is accepted you know, like we need to mould ourselves to fit the ideal of what a cool person would be, you know, and that we can't actually like associate with anybody that isn't living up to that expectation kind of thing. Like this societal programme is huge and we see it in all kind of aspects of our lives, like just look around, I mean, literally just look around. Look at the way reality TV is right now, look at the way the idea of celebrity is right now, look at the way mental health is right now, look at Instagram right now, like you, you literally, all you need to do is turn on your phone and you'll see it everywhere. I'm sure you've experienced it too, like in your actual life. And yeah, I wanna talk about it because I fucking hate it. Like, I absolutely hate it. And I know that times are changing and many more people are, like, aware of it and don't like it either. And I want to start the conversation off on this channel talking about it because that is not what this space is going to be. Like, we're not here for it. That is not going to be a part of any of my videos, any of my music, any of anything that I have to do with. Like, that awful belief system can literally go fuck itself like it is not coming anywhere near my art and anything that I put out into the world you know and I really feel like my purpose here is to share like what I've learned and really like I just want to help people you know and I feel like so many topics aren't really spoken about or talked about in enough in enough depth like it's just not discussed to be honest especially in the UK because I mean we kind of keep everything a bit more closed to ourselves you know like we don't really talk about money we don't really talk about success we don't really talk about any of these kind of things because it's just not the done thing I guess but I want to talk about this idea that we need to compete because there are so many people, myself included, that like literally go online and feel insecure or like you can go anywhere, you can walk down the damn street and feel insecure, okay? And like even people that you would perceive to be beautiful or like successful or have tons of money or have the most perfect relationship, like even the people that you maybe idolise, they have insecurities too all of us have insecurities and they could be different insecurities some of us share the same ones like we all go through similar things really because all of us have been programmed with the same type of belief system which is that we have to compete like we need to be the best of the best you know we need to be the best looking the most successful we need to have the most amount of material things we need to have the biggest house we need to have the best relationship but like all that does is breed unhappiness, literally. Like, all that does is keep us constantly in lack, constantly comparing, constantly feeling not good enough, constantly doubting ourselves and worrying and wondering what other people think of us. Like, it just keeps you in such a lack, fear-based mental state of mind. Like, and of course that's instilled in us on purpose, for people's agendas, as with everything. But we can break that cycle, you know? And that's what I want this video to be, and also all of my other videos, is to break all of these cycles and all of these programs, all of these beliefs, and all of these fears, which kind of are all the same thing, to be fair. 
like your fears and your beliefs and the programming are all the same thing you know so yeah I really want to talk about it because it's just everywhere and I fucking hate it like I absolutely hate it why do we feel like we need to compete why do women feel like we need to get the best guy or like we need to be the most prettiest but then who even decides what pretty is you know like who decides what vessel is pretty and what vessel isn't who decides what success looks like who decides what house is better is all based in perception so it's not even real literally it's not even real but the whole like idea that we need to become a certain thing and that if one person is successful then it takes away from you or like if you're standing next to somebody who has something that you don't then that means that you're unworthy and that takes away from who you are and that only they can shine but no like you can shine too you can stand right next to them and both be shining you can support them and still flourish yourself like it doesn't take away from you and I'm really learning this in my own friendships right now because I realize how deeply embedded the belief is that we can't support people and that we can't be happy for people because it means that we lack something but that's not true you know you can watch your friend flourish and still be successful yourself you can you can compliment somebody and tell them how amazing they are, how beautiful they are, how incredible they are, and still feel incredible in yourself because it doesn't take away from you. In fact, even you complimenting them shows how amazing you are too because not everybody compliments people, you know? So it doesn't take away from you. It actually adds to you because you're giving. And when you give, I mean you automatically get back, you get what you give, you know? So I just think that the program is so deep that it really makes us feel like we're losing something or that we don't have something just because somebody else does. And it's really, really not true. Like it is not true. And the only way to change that belief is to affirm the new ones, is to realize the new ones, is to realize how powerful we are, how worthy you are, how beautiful you are, you know? It's just a change of mind, literally a shift of perception, but that takes like continuous daily practice. So I'm gonna keep making these damn videos that tell you how incredible you are until you believe it because like it's repetition, you know, that's why they put these TV shows and things that make us feel unworthy. You don't just see that once. You don't just watch one TV show and then all of a sudden you feel like shit and then you stay feeling like shit forever. You're consuming things constantly. You consume so many TV shows that all reiterate the same belief. You know, it has to be a daily thing. Like it's a continuous thing that drills it into you. It doesn't just happen once. So if you want to change it to where you do want it to go, you have to do it continuously, you know, continuously reprogramming your mind into where you do want it to go. So that means continuously telling yourself how beautiful you are, continuously reminding yourself how worthy you are, continuously giving to other people and realizing how that does not take away from you. It doesn't take away from you. It adds to you because you're shining. When you're telling somebody how amazing they are, you're shining too because your light is expressing how like grateful or how like you're literally giving love to them. You're feeling your love. You're feeling how happy you are. You're feeling how grateful you are. And then you're expressing it to somebody else and you're making them feel that emotion too, you know? This is why I always say, and many people say, that when somebody expresses hate to you, it's a reflection of them because it's them feeling so negative within themselves that they then express that to somebody else. But the same is true for when you express kindness and when you express love. It's exactly the same thing. You're feeling it in yourself, so you express it to somebody else, you know? So when you're complimenting somebody else, when somebody else is successful and you congratulate them, that doesn't take away from you. It doesn't, because you're literally expressing yourself to them, you know? And when we're all being our best selves and we're all like learning about ourselves and uncovering ourselves, like all the different things about ourselves, 
you get to shine like just shine oh i don't even know how to word this fucking video because i feel like i'm gonna end up ranting i'm literally preaching to myself right now i'm telling myself this wonderful message because i'm guilty of it too like we always fall into this mental trap of lack and unworthiness but like it's okay to go easy on yourself because it is programmed into us every day all around us everywhere everywhere you look it's telling you that you need to like get your ass out in order to be validated by a man everywhere you look it's telling it's like literally showing you that you need to chase money in order to be deemed successful or worthy or good enough it's everywhere you know these beliefs are programmed into us everywhere so it is a real journey and continuous process of like having to get rid of that shit and then fill yourself up with all of these things that make you feel good. So it's okay if like something triggers you into feeling a bit shit. Like it's okay. It's okay if one day you don't feel worthy. It's okay if one day you like realize that you're speaking bad to yourself. It is actually okay and it's always going to be okay and it doesn't matter like don't beat yourself up over it just realize what's happening notice it and then like let go of it almost before you even try to change it just let go first let go of the old one first before you even try to like bring yourself into the new one so yeah i just really am not here for this competition type of shit it doesn't take away from you and it isn't true and so many people are so unhappy and like lost in themselves and I was there too like this is happening so much and if you look at the way society is now like why why are people unhappy why are people feeling like they need to change their bodies with surgery why are people feeling like somebody else is better than them or somebody else is more successful than them like where's that coming from and you'll realize that it's because it's shoved in our faces you know it's literally put in our faces all the time before this shit even existed before social media before makeup before fashion became a thing like think about it thousands millions of years ago this shit didn't exist and of course we had different problems back then but what i'm saying is that these problems are man-made we created them so we can shift them they're not real because we created them you know so the idea of competition is literally not even real because what are you even competing for you know when you feel like somebody's better than you who is it that decides that that person is better than you like where does that concept come from whose validation are you seeking you know what i'm saying because when you, when you literally, like, if somebody, say two people are standing next to each other and one person is, like, a millionaire and the other person barely gets by, like, they struggle to get by, who decides which person is more successful? Who decides which person is more worthy? It's literally the thoughts in your own head that decided that. That's it. Because who else decides? If somebody else decides, it's just the thoughts inside their head too. And you can't even hear them. You can't even hear their thoughts. So, like, who actually decides who is worthy, who is more beautiful, who is more successful? Like, who decides that? It's literally the thoughts in your own head. So this idea of, like, competition is just all of us thinking it. You know, like, we're all thinking that we need to compete. We're all thinking these things, but they're not real. So that's why I made, I also made a video on belief systems and why it's important to change your belief system. And then I'm going to make a video on how to change it too. But yeah, I think, I don't know, I just want to start the conversation. And as with every video, I'm going to go further into deeper topics surrounding it and talk more about it. So this is just like the start of it um but definitely comment below like how you feel about competing and comparison even and like let me know how you feel about um the way the world is right now with social media and stuff like that like i want to open the conversation and i'm also feeling to do some youtube live streams because i'm going to do an instagram live stream but i feel like instagram will be more for 
just like Q&A and that kind of thing, like just general fun chit chat. But maybe I'll do some YouTube ones where you can actually comment live and we can talk about these topics in real time rather than afterwards. But yeah, that's just an idea for the future. So definitely let me know if that's something that you'd be interested in. And as always, all my links and social media and links to my music will be in the description as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell for future videos to be notified. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. I need a man that will hold me down If he a yes man I